Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. As you guys can see, it is extremely snowy. Snow is almost up to my knees. But anyways, in today's video, I wanted to uh, update you guys on my training routine, my current goals, and inshallah, I'll explain that once I'm in the car. Uh, Alhamdulillah, we just got to the gym. Now my new program, inshallah, is gonna emphasize uh, the deadlift because I am trying to get a lot stronger on the deadlift. Um, a while ago, I did the small off squat program and gained 70 pounds on that. And then my squat jumped up to 495, 495 pounds. But my deadlift is also 495 pounds and this was a few months ago. So um, I really wanna get a lot stronger on the deadlift. So inshallah, uh, this new program is really gonna emphasize that. And uh, I'll see you guys at the gym and I'll explain to you guys what the program is. All right guys, so real quick before I get started, I'll explain this small law of junior um, really, really quick. I'm warming up on deadlift, so I'm gonna just take a little break. So the small law of junior is a four day split. So I'm deadlifting four days a week. Uh, the first, first day is a six by six, then a seven by five, then an eight by four and a 10 by three. You gradually get stronger each day. Or sorry, not strong, you gradually get heavier. So you're using heavier weights. And then the percentages go 70, 75, 80%, and then 85%. So um, the other day I did a six by six. Today, inshallah, I'm gonna do a seven by five at 75% of 495, which is 495 times 0.75. So that's 371 pounds. So I'm gonna just go for 370. And inshallah, try to get seven by five at 370 pounds. Now, after the first week, um, when you're done doing the six by six, seven by five, whatever, all the way to 10 by three, then the next week you add five to 10 pounds. The week after you do the same thing, you add 10 to 20 pounds and you try to get stronger and just use heavier weights. And then you test your one rep max. So hopefully it works. Let's get it going.
Alright guys, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So that was the end of the workout video. Now I want to talk to you guys really, really quick and update you guys on what I want to do, what I want to achieve, uh, and hopefully what I'll be documenting for the next few months, possibly even years, depending on how long this journey takes. So uh, I've been bodybuilding for the last seven years, about six, seven years since uh, junior year of high school. And uh, at this point, I'm not getting a lot bigger. I'm not gaining a lot of muscle mass. Um, throughout the years. Every single year I probably gained maybe a pound of muscle, maybe two pounds of muscle if it was a good year. Um, but genetically speaking, I'm reaching probably my, my top potential uh, in terms of mass. So my focus has shifted into powerlifting, possibly even Olympic weightlifting, and uh, hopefully progressing in that and getting a lot stronger. And I just want to talk to you guys really quick about setting realistic expectations for yourself when i was younger when i first got into bodybuilding i would follow people on social media i'm not going to mention any names because i don't want to hurt anybody's feelings but they're people who aren't natural uh, bodybuilders and i would follow them and i would look up to them and every single time i go into the gym i would envision you know getting one step closer to that physique that i was always aiming for and um, it's really important for your mental health to really set realistic expectations and be very real with yourself. If you have some amazing genetics, you could possibly get as big as those guys that are not natural, but for 99.99% of us who do lift, we're not gonna be able to get as big as those unnatural athletes naturally. So uh, I just wanna quickly say that and remind you guys and, and just try to say it in the nicest way possible. Just set realistic expectations for yourself. And it's always fun to bodybuild. It's always fun to gain muscle and sculpt your body in different ways. Um, but at the end of the day, you gotta set, again, realistic expectations. So I think I'm reaching my genetic peak uh, for, for muscle mass. I was always a really, really skinny kid. My bone structure, I think, is uh, you know not too thick. So, I can't really gain a lot of muscle naturally, but alhamdulillah, I'm sitting at 200 and about five pounds now with a, with a good amount of fat. So if I cut down, obviously I'll look a lot bigger because of the illusion, but as of right now, 205 pounds, a lot of body fat. And so at this point, that's why I wanted to shift my focus onto powerlifting and Olympic weightlifting, just because it's a new challenge. It's something new, it's something different. Some people have come up and asked me in the gym, uh, you know, why do you keep going to the gym? I'm getting bored. I don't know what to do I don't know if I could you know keep going. I'm losing motivation One of the best things that you can do is shift your focus on a new goal Whether it's in the gym or outside of the gym, but I love the gym. I always inshallah be in the gym So uh, I want to shift my focus and get a different goal And if you guys are getting bored and losing motivation, you're not going to the gym You're not having as much fun as you used to you might want to consider also changing up your goals and see you know if you have a lot of fun or if you don't have fun and and whatnot so just wanted to share my update with you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys are new here please don't forget to subscribe man we are growing and i'm really really thankful for it man it's so motivating to see the channel finally grow alhamdulillah we're above 3100 subscribers right now and uh, I really do appreciate each and every single one of you guys. It means a lot to me uh, when you guys hit that subscribe button. It really does. Um, but anyways, inshallah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.